Well, guess I'll just make another video tonight. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and utilize local star databases for when you're doing your photometric color calibration as well as plate solving. Out of the box, default install, you need an internet connection for that stuff to happen. Once you follow through the steps that I'm gonna show you, you'll be able to get through those not only with no internet required, but it'll be a little bit faster for you as well. My name is Rich and you're watching Deep Space Astro. This video is sponsored by Brilliant.org. So before we get into downloading and installing the local databases for this, I just wanted to show you the two places within Serial where those databases will be used. The first will be underneath the burger menu here and image information and image plate solver. You'll see down here under catalog parameters, online star catalog, it shows online catalog. So that's your indication that you do not have your local star databases installed or configured properly. This is the default out of the box. It requires internet in order to reach out and query those databases. The second place is up under image processing in which you guys are probably more familiar with, but under color calibration and photometric color calibration. Again, under catalog parameters, you see we're using an online catalog. So, and one thing to keep in mind with these local databases, you do not require an internet connection in order to do your photometric color calibration or your plate solving. But there's a caveat to that. As you can see with my image, because my acquisition software was able to write into the FITS file, the right ascension and declination coordinates of this image, I can simply just hit okay and it would query the catalogs and do my color calibration for me or my plate solving if I was in the plate solving tool. If you're shooting with a DSLR or a mirrorless that does not have your image parameters stored within the file, and these all come up zero like I've shown in my previous um, beginners tutorials and you have to search for your object that you shot and then hit find that piece right there if ever you have to hit your find button to get your coordinates that requires an internet connection because it's going to be querying the Simbad server which is online only right now so just keep that in mind if your coordinates aren't here you need internet if they are here you do not need internet so where do we get the files if we come over and I'll leave a link to the documentation here from Cyril. But if you come over to the catalog parameters down under using local catalogs and under our download section here, uh, these last two sentences are your download links. So you have two options in downloading this. If you're a BitTorrent user, you have a torrent file link right here, or you can use the magnet link to grab it all as one compressed file and then extract it when it's done. That would be the fastest way to get them. If you don't use BitTorrent or you don't know what that is, then just disregard what I said. Then just come down here to where it says slower direct download links and click on the link right here and it'll take you to where you can actually just download the files that you need. We're only interested in the ones that end with a .xz extension. You don't need the two text files. Either just left click on it and save it if you have issues with that right click on it and i'm in chrome use the save link as if you're using a different browser it's probably worded differently but download each of these files and the first two files are kind of big shouldn't take too horribly long just depends on your internet speed so while that's downloading i wanted to talk to you guys about another interest of mine computer science and show you a free and easy way that you can learn more about that topic using brilliant.org brilliant is the best way for anyone to learn not only computer science but also thousands of other lessons such as neural networks programming and even astrophysics in the computer science fundamentals lessons you'll learn computational thinking from the basic everyday task all the way through to computer algorithms and whatever your skill level brilliant customizes the content to fit your needs and allows you to complete the lessons at your own pace it's a fun interactive and easy way to learn basic to advanced topics and they're adding new lessons every month so to try everything that brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days visit brilliant.org slash deep space astro or click on the link in the description and the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Okay, so our databases are downloaded. We have all four of them here in my downloads directory. Again, the .xz's extension, this is a compressed file. Unfortunately, Windows does not have the ability of decompressing these files for us. So, so you have to use a utility like 7-zip. It's free, there's no charge. Grab a copy of it, the install is very simple. Just install, click, click. There's no configuration or anything to it. And I'll leave a link to this website as well in the description. But once you have 7-zip installed, then you can come over to your downloads directory. And if you right click on one of the files and say open with, 7-zip file manager and this is real simple as well just click your extract button 
it'll extract it in the same folder that you downloaded the zip file itself or the compressed file itself. Click OK and then just rinse and repeat for the remaining three. Okay, so now you'll see that since these were decompressed, we now have all of our .dat files, which are the catalogs themselves. And if I highlight all four, just so you guys know what you're looking at for drive space, just a little bit over two gig is what's going to be required for these four databases. Um, just like I do with anything else that I download extra as a utility app or as a, uh, an add-on, I store them in a separate directory on my hard drive. So I have, again, my astrophotography folder. I'm going to create a folder and it can be whatever you want. I'm going to call this Serial Star DBs and then go back over to my downloads directory. I do not need anything but the four .dat files. So I am going to cut those and put them into my new folder and I'm ready to configure Serial to use them. So we're going to run Serial. I already have it open here. You're going to come over to your burger menu on the preferences astrometry and then these four star catalogs are the ones that we just downloaded and they conveniently gave us the literal names of each file that we downloaded so there's no confusion so name stars dot dat we're going to click over here where it says none and i'm going to browse to my new folder pick name stars and then we got deep stars over here unnamed stars is next and then the USNO Nomad. Click apply. So now that those are set, we're gonna close serial, and reopen it just to make sure that it's aware that the, the local catalogs do exist now. I'm gonna reopen my image that I just had open previously, give it an auto stretch. And now if I come up to image processing, color calibration, photometric color calibration, you can see where I said online catalog, it now says local catalog. Same thing if we jump over and look at the plate solver again under image information. It says local catalog there as well. So now, and I'll bring the console up over here. If we just do a photometric color calibration. Again, I don't require internet. And actually here, I'll turn my internet off just so you guys can see this working. So I currently have no connection to the internet, but like I was saying before, my image parameters, my right ascension and declination coordinates were already in the FITS file. So that information is populated. So I don't need internet to ob obtain those. Simply hit my OK button. And if you look over in the console here, you can see that it is in fact querying our local catalog. Not only quicker, but if you don't have an internet connection or if you're out in the field and you take your processing machine with you and you wanna do some quick processing, whether it's plate solving or the color calibration, as long as your coordinates exist in your FITS file of your image, then you'll be able to do this completely disconnected from the internet. So the last thing I wanted to show you, if you decide for whatever reason that you no longer want to use your local catalogs, if you come back into your preferences again, you'll notice there's no way of actually clearing these names out of here. If you click on anything, it's just gonna prompt you for the files again. The only way I found to be able to clear that is to actually go into the folder where I saved the files, either delete the folder or the files within them. We'll just delete the whole folder here and then close serial and open it back up again and back into preferences. And you'll see that now the files have been cleared back to none. And if we go back to one of our images and hit the photometric color calibration, you'll see it's back to using the online catalog. So there you go, pretty easy to set up. It's not real difficult and it'll save you a little bit of time because it'll be quicker because it's doing everything locally. As well as, like I mentioned in the video, it, as long as you already have your coordinates supplied in the FITS file, then you can be completely offline when you're doing your photometric color calibration or your plate solving. And before we go, I wanna say thank you to all my members, both here on YouTube and over on buymeacoffee.com. I appreciate everybody's time. I'll see you in the next video. And unlike it is right now, again, Clear skies.